Welcome to Bolton's Backyard Buddies. I'm your host, Jenna Chapel. I'm an entomologist. Do you know what an entomologist is? An entomologist is a scientist that studies insects and anything related to insects. Now today we're going to talk about isopods. Isopods are crustaceans. They're related to insects, but they're not insects. They actually are crustaceans, just like shrimp, lobster, and crabs. But they live on land. And since they're derived from sea creatures, they have to be in a moist environment. So you wanna go look for some isopods today? Come on, let's go look. So we did some backyard construction and left some of our wood just laying on the ground. So it's been raining the last few weeks. And so it's moist down there, just a little bit. There's some soil down there and it's dark. And that's what isopods love the most. So let's see if we can find some isopods. Let's see. What can we find? <gasps> look, look, there's some isopods. Have you seen any roly polies in your backyard? Roly polies are safe to touch. They won't hurt you at all. Look how cute it is. All right, so there's 12 different isopods that we have in North America. There are a couple that are more familiar to us. We have the pill bugs, the ones that are rolling in little balls, and that's what we call roly polies. We also have sow bugs. They don't roll up in a little ball. And then we have a couple other ones, but those are the ones you're gonna be most familiar with. So, as you can see, they like to be in the soil. Now, you know why they like to do that? They like to eat all of these little microscopic, decaying plant things, all this little mold, fungi. Look, there's some more. They actually filter out all the bad stuff that's in your garden. Sometimes you get arsenic and cadmium. These are like poisons that can hurt you if you were to plant anything in your backyard and we don't want that. So they will eat some of this soil and filter all of that nastiness out. Now, what's really cool about roly polies, besides the fact that you can play with them, is that, um, all the little babies look just like the mamas. They're just smaller. Sometimes they're a little lighter too. And the mama holds all the eggs in this cool little pouch that's called a marsupium. She can hold up to 200 eggs in her little tiny pouch. Then she lays them in the nursery and they hatch out and they look just like her, just smaller. <gasps> Actually, I think we might see some babies. Let's see what we can find. There's a mama. Oh, look, here's one doing its defense mechanism. So this is a pill bug because remember, sow bugs don't roll up like these. Or you can just call them all roly polies. Or remember, isopods, not an insect, but a crustacean. So what's cool about this is they have seven segments of their body. That allows them to widen those spaces in between the segments and then roll their body up like this. And why they do this is they get scared. They think something's gonna eat them. So they try to protect their underside. You see it coming out? Look at that. It's cute little legs. So like I said, they're crustaceans and anything that lives in water, most anything that lives in water has gills and these have gills too, but they're modified, highly modified gills. So they have to stay wet. So if you were to keep these as a pet in your house, you would have to keep the soil and the leaves in whatever container that you have slightly moist. Otherwise their gills won't work and they can't breathe and then they'll die, which is really sad. So I'm gonna put this back. It's cute little cell. All right, guys. So next we're gonna do a video. We're gonna do a video with a craft to demonstrate how roly polies roll up into little balls. Remember, pill bugs roll up to little balls, sow bugs don't. All right, so we'll see you next time on Belton's Backyard Buddies.